It's a journey through grief. Caitlin Fiedler lost her parents and four of her siblings in a car accident as a child. She's now releasing a book which takes her through the healing process and how to help you heal your own grief. Caitlin joins us in studio to tell us a little bit more about the book and what she wants you to, to get out of it. Caitlin, good to see you. Good to see you, yeah. glad to be here. So that, that intro, I mean, it, it, it breaks a lot of hearts and it can't even compare to what you had to go through at that time in your life. So l let's talk about that and how that is the basis of, of the story. Yeah, my book, What Now, comes out April 4th and it is my personal journey of healing through the loss of my parents and four of my siblings in a car accident when I was eight years old. And so it's just my journey um, of how I found hope and healing in God in the years to follow. And any, if something like that were to even remotely happen to anyone, hope and healing are the last things that people think about. How did this book and writing it down on paper offer a cathartic you know, relationship with you and, and, and trying to figure out how all of this makes sense, if, it, if, there any, if there's any way for that to make sense? Mm -hmm. Writing my story was very healing for me, just getting it down on paper. It really helped me through this journey of healing that I'm on. And I hope that in sharing my personal vulnerable story, um, others will find hope in their own journeys as well. Was there someone that encouraged you to do that? Or was it something that you felt like you had to get pen to paper and, you know, or hands to the computer to get it out there to, to, to help you with your own journey? Um, it was really a combination of things that led to that point of being able to write it myself. Um, it wasn't until I was in my early 20s that I started writing and just have gotten more comfortable sharing as well. And who is this book meant for? I mean, a lot of folks have gone through grief, nothing to the magnitude of what you've had to go through throughout your life. What do you want them to get out of this, out of the story and out of your message? This book is really for anyone, whether someone has experienced a loss or not, it will provide inspiration, I hope, for anyone who's been through, we all experience pain mm -hmm. and suffering of some sort right in our lives. So no matter how hard or how um, tragic someone's circumstance may be, it's for anyone who has experienced pain of some sort and just wants to know how they can move forward in their life and not just move forward, but move forward with great hope and great joy in their life That's after big. loss. What do, you, what do you think is the biggest lesson you learned by, by doing this, this project and working on this? And um, I'm, I'm sure talking to your kids and, and family and friends, there are lots of things that you can take out of the book and, and share with them. What do you think is at the top of that list of something that you took away from, from this book and this project? Yeah, I think just not staying stuck where you are. For so long, I question why. Why did this happen to me? Why do hard things happen? Um, but that question was more focused inward and you can stay stuck if you stay there. So in the title, What Now? And in asking that question rather than why, what now moves your thoughts from inward to outward? And mm -hmm. so that's what I really learned in asking what now and just giving my life to God. What, how does he want to use it? And that's important, too, because like you said, a lot of people would focus on how does this impact me? What about me? Mm -hmm. But instead of turning around and said, how could what happened to me benefit other people, which is important. So right. we have a lot of viewers that are watching this. They're going to the book comes out on April 4th. Yes. Where can they buy the book? And if they're looking for you to come and speak and maybe talk to some some groups and talk to a church or whatnot, what is the mm -hmm. best way for them to get in contact with you? The book is available for pre-order now anywhere online um, and it will be available April 4th anywhere that you buy books. So Amazon, Barnes & Noble, uh, ChristianBooks.com. And I also blog for women on my blog, abeautifulbelonging.com. So if they go there, abeautifulbelonging.com, they can see all the information about my book and other social media, things like that. Awesome, Caitlin, thank you so much for sharing such a strong a strong message and for releasing the book. Gonna help a lot of people, we appreciate it. Thank you so of much. Of course, we'll put all that information for you at our website, yourcarolina.tv.